Shown in front of you is a complete Uratron system, which includes the suction pinch valve and the generator shown below. Off to the left is a dual foot switch, which has yellow and blue pedals. Off to the right, we have our all black handpiece, which is used for rigid probes only, as well as the blue handpiece, which is used for semi-rigid probes. We currently offer rigid and semi-rigid probes in a variety of lengths and diameters. The generator's power input is located on the right side of the back of the unit. The suction pinch valve's power input is also located on the right side of the back of the unit. The most important thing to remember when setting up the Uratron system is to make sure that the generator is off before plugging in any of the components. First, we will connect the all black rigid handpiece. As you can see, there is a picture on the unit that shows the transducer, and the way to connect it is by lining up the red dot to the red dot. Once that is securely plugged in, you will select your probe and you will securely hand tighten it. Once it is securely hand tightened, you use the wrench which comes with the system to securely fasten it. When using the semi-rigid handpiece, it is assembled the same way as the rigid handpiece. After plugging in the handpiece, you will then plug in the dual foot switch. As you can see here, there are two cords, however they can be used interchangeably. They will now be plugged in by lining up red to red. The dual foot switch used with the Uratron has two pedals. Yellow is for softer stones, blue is for harder stones. After plugging in the handpiece and foot switch, you are then ready to turn on the system. After turning on the system, the probe mode is defaulted to semi. The way to change it is by holding down select for a few seconds, it will then switch to rigid. After selecting the appropriate probe mode, you are now ready to tune the device. To tune the device, you must hold it upright and hold down the orange tune button for a few seconds. You will then begin to hear the device tune itself, after which you may release your finger. It will then illuminate green, meaning that it is ready for use. When using the suction pinch valve, you will plug in the secondary cable from the dual foot switch into the unit by lining up red dot to red dot. To attach the non-sterile suction tubing, you must stretch the silicone portion of the tubing and place it into the valve. You are now ready to attach the sterile suction tubing. There are two ends. One end goes to the back of the handpiece. The other will go to the specimen trap. The unit is now ready for use. Richard Wolf, Spirit of Excellence.